Hey, this is Andy. Welcome to part two of Doubles with the Boys. So, um, again, we have the Yin Yang twins, uh, myself and Corey, versus Double Dragon, Vlad and Michael. So, so they won the first set six four, and here Corey's starting to serve. So I think I, I left the conversation a bit high level um, last time. Uh, all like we play each other like all the time, so that was a great volley by Vlad. Um, but I could let you know what at least I think people are trying to do. Um, so Corey is definitely trying to mix up his serve and uh, really gets a net where we have our our, our strong side. Um, and when he's at the net, um, he does all sorts of things. He he fakes, he moves, and um, I think we really move well as a team. So Vlad, uh, on serve, he mixes it up. He um, In the past, he used to just do predominantly a kick, but now he has a flat, has a nice kick, and he mixes locations really well. And Michael just tries to be super consistent. Um, He's been attacking my forehand a lot this match. Um, normally, um, they go after my backhand. And for me, um, I'm trying to make it to the net uh, when I can um, on my own terms. So really, uh, my strategy is usually to try and get it deep and then force them to do a big swing. And then when they're taking a big swing, I try and sneak up. So a good shot by Corey. So I love that position, both of us at the net. So 1-0, um, Vlad to serve. A little bit of a hesitation there by Michael, whether to take that. And here you see me. Um, again, I was sneaking up to the net when I saw Vlad taking a big swing. I mean, he could hit that definitely, but it's a, it's a hard shot going. If he's going down the line, he's going to be going over the high part of the net. And if he's going right at me, um, then I, I like my chances on the volley. So great serve right to the body by Vlad. Really good impro improvisation by Corey the net. So I think Vlad was saying that he was second-guessing himself on that shot. So we're up to a quick 30-love lead, or love 30 lead, I should say. There, good poach. I mean, I, I didn't do enough with that, but I did just enough, you know, just just to make it um a little tricky for Vlad. So we're at love forty, and this has sort of been a, a really manufactured break um, break chance because I don't think I, I've hit a clean return. I'm all match against Vlad. Still out, out in front. So uh, if you missed part one, I was struggling a lot with my forehand. You see me doing some shadow swings. I've been out in front. I know I'm going to figure it out. Um, it's just a matter of uh, just uh, timing it correctly. So that's a good, good move by Michael. I love how he was shading in the middle. Um, and even though the, the volley wasn't necessarily the, the cleanest, um, he made Corey hit up, and that's always a tough shot. So great job by Michael on that one. 
So we're at 30, 40. And here we go, see, same plan, I'm coming up to the net, um, trying to force that shot. So we got two love. Uh, I mean, a really big serve by Vlad. I, I was just trying to stick my racket out there, and, and Corey hit some clean returns. We came up to the net pretty well together as a team. So I think the coffee is, has has worn off, uh, <laughs> probably from from all sides. So I think we're, we're all at the, the same even basis now. Ooh, he just missed that. That was the right idea. I mean, Corey was definitely leaning towards the middle, and that's I mean that's a tough shot to go um, take that serve from the tee and try and uh, hit it uh, in the doubles alley. A good effort by Vlad. So good aggressiveness, and here we're both approaching that. Um, so I mean, that's the the right play. I mean, we're right there, and I like our chances when we are um, moving in tandem to net. Yeah, that was a good return by Vlad. A um, little bit of indecision by Michael, but I think it's he had a few different options and kind of didn't know which one to do. But um, good, good uh, job by Corey. Wow, another great volley by Corey. And one thing that you note here is if we're playing singles, I'm norm I'm normally not going to serve to Michael's backhand. But because we're playing doubles, especially at long follow here, where there's really no space between the, the fence or, or the, the net in and the doubles alley, I'm going to serve out wide, um, knowing that Corey's going to be there um, to clean it up. Okay, so we're up to three love. Um, good, good service hold by me. Great volley by Vlad. So there again, I was sneaking in when um, we had that deep approach. So feeling good here, trying to get my groove on the forehand. Hit a great forehand return. So I was pumped. So left 30. Ooh, a bit unlucky. So love 40. One thing that Vlad has been doing extremely well, um, he's been doing the drop volley, and that's something that like I feel like he's added in this game the last year or so. Out in front again. I was I was so frustrated here. I thought I finally um Thought I finally had it, right? But it's uh, just got to move on. So good serve by Michael. I think he was targeting Corey's forehand. Um, probably same reason where, like, it's normally not a good idea to target his forehand, but because Vlad is seen so aggressively towards the middle, um, it's a pretty good shot. So there, another miss it. So he's gone to my forehand a lot, I think pretty much exclusively. And I think at this point, I was telling myself, I'm not going to miss another forehand return because I know I know where it's, it's coming. Uh, so a good return by Corey. Um, making Vlad uh, hit the volley. So I know it's coming to my forehand. I know it's going to come with a little bit of slice so I can sort of sit on it and wait for um, that shot. A good return by me. Good job by Corey. And I 
think I was so happy for that. <laughs> I was so happy about that return. I just completely sailed that forehand. But I mean, it was a good shot. Um, it was underrated playing dubs, like just keeping the ball deep and then making your opponent try and overhit. So again, Michael's targeting um, Corey's forehand. Turned by Corey and Vlad just put that volley on a dime. I mean, his field is so good at the net. Um, great return by me, and Corey cleans it up. And that's that's the thing with doubles like. Normally that serve would be pretty good in singles, but because I have that alley, uh, like I could definitely target the ball there. Oh man, <laughs> same thing. Same thing that happened to Michael in the previous game happened to me here. I had the volley and just kind of missed it, but Vlad did a good job of um, really not giving me space. So this is a long game, second serve, double fault. I mean, in retrospect, that, like, um, I'm just seeing that Michael's had some a couple double faults, which is not usually the case. Um, but at the moment, I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking about trying to get my get my uh, forehand in. So again. Another double. But the thing is, I mean, if if you're doubling, like you, you gotta know that you have a good serve and you just like keep with your emotion. And I think Michael knows he has a good serve. So um, here we go. I'm sitting on the forehand return. Great return. Oh, tricky, tricky, tricky. That was. I think I know what happened there. Um, maybe Corey comments and let me know. But the ball was dropping so fast, and Corey didn't want to reach over to the net uh, to sort of put his racket over the net. So um, that's what I think happened. Nice. See, that's the play I was talking about with Vlad and those short, um, the, the uh, sort of the, the short volley. I mean, he's really incorporated that into his game. I think it's a great shot, especially to mix it up if you normally punch your volleys. And there, Michael, that was a shot. That serve out wide. Um, as you can see, I've been sitting on the forehand this whole game, and then he gets me out wide to the backhand. Really good serve. So now it's one or three serve and one. That was a long, long game. Good serve by Corey. And that body serve is underrated. Um, I mean, I wish, sometimes I wish my targeting were, were good enough where I could just consistently hit to the body, but um, nice serve. Good lob. And Vlad puts away the easy overhead. I did get my racket on it though. 
<laughs> well, Michael, um, I think that, that point was all set up by Michael's lob, and that's a good change of pace in doubles, one that I highly recommend, especially to aggressive net players, against against aggressive net players like uh, Corey and myself. So I just duffed that overhead. Um, I think what happened was I was trying to look to see how good a shot it's going to be, and then it just went right in the net. I believe that caught. So good return by Vlad. So um, back on serve, they're serving 2 3. So Michael repaid the favor and, and missed an overhead. Left 15. So again, I haven't gotten a single clean return. Um, that one, because it wasn't clean, it just kind of dribbled over the net and it made it for a, a little bit of a tricky volley for Michael. So left 30. Good play, good play. So I love the confidence, and Vlad and Michael were definitely in the that doubles par position. Fifteen thirty. That's big time, big time ace. And I mean, notice he's mixing it up so well. Like, I have absolutely no idea where he's going to serve or what type of spin he's going to use. So, um, good job by Vlad. There you go. I'm sneaking up to net, and he caught it. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's a a risk that I would I'd happily take. Um, he hit that with so much spin and just went in the corner. So great backhand by Vlad. Here, I'm just hoping for a forehand. Or a double. Because <laughs> I hadn't been able to return anything. Um, so we're at deuce. And you guys, um, I know you guys have hoped for double faults before. You just haven't said it out loud. Great get by me. You know, yeah, I mean, there's something to be said about making someone hit that extra shot. So that's one thing I always teach. Um, I always tell my kids, like, just never give up, never give up, always push. So add out. Second serve. So there we go. So I'm coming into net again. Right. 
shot and Corey's coming in with in a power position. So, I, I mean, that would have been a nasty uh, pass if it went over. But um, I think we our aggressiveness uh, really um, was, was the right play there. So we're up 4-2. Good shot by Vlad. I mean, he does that so often, and that's why, um, in terms of strategy, like, I mean, he crushes his backhand, but I try to go to the backhand when I'm coming to net, because when he hits that forehand, you have no idea whether it's going to go in or out because of all that spin. So there, um, again, that's, that's a doubles play there. I was kicking it out wide to Michael's backhand. Just because I know there's so lo so limited space um, in this court, and because Corey's at the net, so Vlad just nailed another um, uh, return. But what I like about Corey here is that, you know, yes, we've applauded those two returns, but he's gonna keep on being super aggressive in terms of his positioning. I'm going with the lob again. And Corey. Yeah, so that's that's a, the caveat. Like, you can either be aggressive or uh, think you're just trying to to lob it over. And like with Corey being at the net, um, he just um, put that away. So that the lob is always always a good play in my opinion. If you hit a good lob. the double sorry it was multitasking <laughs> so good serve by me again so I was, even though I wasn't feeling my pace on in this match I think I was doing a good job of just getting most of my first serves in commentators curse but at least most of the serves. Yeah, and that's what happens when you don't get a first serve in. Um, actually, w w when you get a first serve in, Vlad could still, do, could still do that. But that was a really good return. And that's what makes his forehand dangerous in that he dips it. Um, and when you're a, a net player, it's that's a tough shot to handle. Wow, gutsy play by Corey. I, I, <laughs> I don't know whether he was going for the line, but um, he uh, definitely just caught the line. But a great volley, good aggressiveness. Happy. I finally got it out wide, and like when Vlad hit that, I was like, "Is this gonna drop in again?" But I'm um, happy that it sailed. So add in, um, let's see if my, probably going to kick it out wide here again. Let's see. Nope. Went down the T. All right. So mix it up and we're up here. The yin yang twins, Corey and I in white and black are up 5-2. So good job, Corey, helping me out on that. And yeah, so I was asking Corey after that, should I have let that drop and try and take a forehand? But he was saying, no, that was the right play. Um, it was a tricky volley. Um, I think I, I may have been trying to do too much, but credit to Michael for that great placement on the lob. All right, so here, I, I've dialed my forehand in, and I was going for that little short angle backhand. Um, 
little secret, I don't have that short angle backhand. <laughs> I never did. But um, I'll, I'll keep trying to, to get it. So now we're at love, our 40 love. But um, I'm, I'm feeling good. I finally got a backhand return in. I mean, that's that's nasty by Corey. First of all, great serve by Michael. Um, he recognized, I think, that he was going a little bit too much to my forehand, and then he went to my backhand. But um, Corey, I mean, that's a good one-two punch right there in sort of a play. So we're at 40-30. Notice the predictability of my return. So I'm going to return across court. In the wide. Oh no! I went down the line. What was I thinking? I got a bit lucky. Um, great play by Corey and forced the, the, the tough... Um, the tough volley. So we're back at deuce. So pretty good return by me. Um, and good job by Corey coming up to the net uh, to really, um, truly make it a, a tricky, tricky down the line shot for Michael. So serving at deuce again. Vlad with the drop volley. I think he's in love with that volley now. So add in, I'm sitting on the forehand. And just a little bit long. So that one, so good shot. So that was a body serve, I, I ran around it to hit my forehand. Unrelated, but the lady next door, um, she has probably the cleanest strokes I've, I've seen. I mean, it was just super clean, like old school clean. Um, so Corey just missed that one wide. A good idea. Test and glide down the line. That. Okay, so that was first serve was a lot. Um, so the second serve here. Good return by me, Corey. Again, cheats middle. So I'll tell the Corey here. I finally exercised. Exercise is that the right word? My my forehand uh, woes. So we're a deuce long game. Wow, that was money, money. Like, Corey just missed last time, but he nailed it that time. Great job, Corey, getting that forehand down the line. So add out. So good serve by Michael. After a great stretch of made forehands, I think the difference there is he got that more towards the tee. So... Um, it was a really good serve. Good 
Good job, Corey. Wow, okay. No, good. Right play, right play. Um, I mean, it was, I was, actually, I didn't even, I was going to think about this while we were playing, but that was like the return and approach. And, um, I mean, this is, that just puts loads of pressure on the serving team. Good volley. Ooh, I just hit that a, a bit long. I mean, that's a tough one. Um, as if you like we're both fast right so we'll be able to get any sort of drop shot there so i think um he just didn't get his racket on top of it it's a little bit long so double so it gives us add in and practicing my return um shadow swings Tell myself to wait. Got a nice loopy shot and a set. So um, the set six two. Um, they won the first set six four. We started a tiebreaker but didn't finish. So uh, this is Andy for tennis with Andy. Play smart and see results.